when I was young, I, I, uh, I didn't really know what I was going to do uh, when, when I got older. Um, people kept asking me, and, and um, but, but then eventually I thought that the idea of inventing things would be would be really cool. And the, the reason I thought that was because um, I, I read a quote from Arthur C. Clarke, which said that a, um, a sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic, and, and that's really true. Uh, if you th if you go back say 300 years, the things that we take for granted today uh, would be, you'd, you'd be burned at the stake for. Um, you know, being able to fly, um, that's crazy. Uh, being able to see over long distances, being able to communicate, having um, effectively uh, with the internet uh, a, a, a group mind of sorts, um, and having access to all the world's information uh, instantly from almost anywhere on the earth. Um, this is this is stuff that that really would be magic, that would be considered magic um, in, in times past. In fact, I think it actually goes beyond that because there are many things that we take for granted today that weren't even imagined in, in times past. They weren't even in the realm of magic. So it actually goes goes beyond that. So I thought, well, you know, if if, if I can do some of those things, basically, if, if, if I can advance technology, then that that's like magic, and that would be really cool. Um, and the, the, I always had sort of a slight existential crisis because I was trying to figure out what, what does it all mean, like what's the purpose of things. And um, I came to the conclusion that if, if we can advance the, 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 the knowledge of the world, if we can do things that expand the scope and, and, and scale of consciousness, then we're better able to ask the right questions and become more enlightened and, and that's really the only way forward. There are certain things that are necessary to ensure that the future is good, um, and uh, some of those things are, in the long term, having long-term sustainable transport and sustainable energy generation, um, and uh, to be a space-bearing civilization, and for humanity to be out there among the stars, and be a multi-planetary uh, species. Um, I mean, I think the, the being a multi-planet species and being out there among the stars is important for uh, the long-term survival of humanity, and uh, that's one reason, kind of like life insurance for life collectively, life as we know it. Um, but then the part that I find personally most motivating is that it creates a sense of adventure, and it makes people excited about the future. Um, now, if you consider two futures, one where uh, we are forever confined to Earth until eventually something terrible happens, or another future where we are out there on many planets, maybe even going beyond the solar system, um, I think that second version is incredibly exciting and inspiring, and there need to be reasons to get up in the morning. You know, life can't just be about solving problems. Otherwise, what's the point? There's got to be things that people find inspiring uh, and make life worth living. If you see the difference between a startup that is successful and one that is not, and it's because the successful one, they both made mistakes, but the successful one recognized the mistakes, fixed them very quickly, and the, the unsuccessful one tries to deny that the mistakes exist. You know, extremely smart people are sometimes quite arrogant because they believe in what they believe in, right? And so when they face criticism, it's less likely to admit, you know, they, they can make mistakes. Uh, was that in your case? I learned it when I was doing, uh, when I was studying physics. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, you know, in, in physics, you're taught to always question yourself. You're taught to always assume that you're wrong, not assume that you're right. And you have to prove yourself not not wrong, um, and so I think that, that that physics framework is really where where I learned it, and um, it's very effective for under, for learning counterintuitive things that aren't obvious. Mm -hmm. So you are very famous in saying that failure is actually an option, and if you're not sure. failing, that means you are not innovative enough. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I like failure. I mean, who likes failure? It's terrible. Yeah. But if you only do things that are certain to succeed, then you're only going to be doing very obvious things when you're building something new, there's going to be mistakes. Yeah. Um, and it's important to, to recognize those mistakes, acknowledge them, and take corrective action. Okay. Uh, and the success of a company is very much more about how quick are you to fix the mistakes, mm -hmm. not will you make mistakes. Or, or admit the mistakes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.